Two people have been killed amid floods that wrecked havoc in Indian capital New Delhi. A 22-year-old woman and her three-year-old son drowned in a waterlogged drain after slipping near a construction site in Ghazipur East Delhi. The bodies have been recovered and further legal action is being taken by Ghazipur East Delhi Police Station, said the local police. Heavy rains have submerged parts of the city, causing heavy traffics and disrupting the work of the airport. Many people have been stranded due to traffic disruptions. The torrential rain has led to widespread waterlogging, turning roads into rivers. The Delhi police have advised commuters to avoid Mundka due to heavy waterlogging and potholes on Rotuk Road, urging the public to take alternative routes. In response to the severe weather, Delhi Education Minister Atishur announced the closure of all schools in the city on Thursday. In addition, Delhi Lieutenant Governor V.K. Saxena has cautioned all officers to remain alert, emphasizing the need to address waterlogging issues, particularly in vulnerable areas such as coaching centers. खड़ा रहना मुश्किल हो रहा है Valery Romanenko, an aviation expert and leading researcher at the State Aviation Museum of Ukraine, noted that after the strike on the Olenya Air Base, Russia has to move bombers to the Amur region. He shared the information on Espresso TV. We hit the Olenya airfield from a distance of 1,850 kilometers, setting a historic record like an Olympic jump. We are awaiting the next strikes. This demonstrates that there are no places in the European part of Russia where Russians can reliably hide their aircraft. Romanenko emphasized, according to the aviation expert, the only option left for Russia is to move the bombers to another strategic aviation base near Serishevo in the Amur region. It is very far away. Officers used to be sent there for immoral behavior and other offenses. Now, given their actions, this remote base is their only option, explained Romanenko. Defense intelligence of Ukraine strikes at the polar base Olenya. On July the 27th, drones of the defense intelligence of Ukraine hit a Tu-22M3 strategic bomber at the Olenya airfield in Russia. The defense intelligence of Ukraine added that the Olenya airfield is located 1,800 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. The damage dealt to aircraft, such as the Tu-22M3 bomber, is vital because the Russian military industrial sector currently does not have the means to produce such equipment. This is something that the Soviet Union could produce, and that is why Russian forces are trying to hide them so far away. 
While Ukraine does not have permission to fire Western-made long-range weapons deep inside Russian territory, the embattled country frequently uses domestically produced drones for these attacks. Olenya airfield is located next to the town of Olenegorsk, where iron ore mining takes place. A closed military town, Vysoki is home to the air crew, the service personnel and their families. Further into the wilderness, north of Vysoki is one of Russia's main central storage facilities for nuclear warheads, located in the Bolshoi Ramazero. Olenya airfield is frequently used by Russia's strategic aviation to attack civilian infrastructure in Ukraine with cruise missiles. It was Tu-95MS bombers from Olenya that less than a month ago bombed the children's hospital in Kyiv.